Hey guys, VKSD here. Um, well, this is the moment we've been waiting for. Apparently, this was uh, informed a few days ago that we were going to have uh, 10 minutes of footage regarding Tears of, Tears of the Kingdom. Sorry, I'm, I'm a little excited myself. And, uh, well, without further ado, let's just get into it. Let's get on with it already. Let's see. Hello, everyone. I'm A.G. Aonuma. Producer of the Legend of Zelda series. First, I have some news. Development on the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom is now complete. Of course. Thank you very much for waiting. Many of you are looking forward to this game, and we've released a few trailers so far. Although it'll just be a brief glimpse, I'm going to actually play the game for you all today and show you what it's like. Okay, let's begin. Bring it on. Here we are in the land of Hyrule. Like no the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. the Wild, there's a vast world to explore. Of course, it's not just the same world as is. It's changed in many ways. Oh, so it is a drastic If we change. talk about all of the changes today, we'll run out of time, so we hope you'll seek them out for yourself when the game launches. Interesting. In this game, the vast world of Hyrule reaches high into the sky. You'll notice some land masses floating up there. We call them Sky Islands. Again, Skyward Sword references. You're here, probably wondering something. How do you get to the Sky Islands when they're so high up? If we take a look, oh, something's falling from the sky. Do you see it? Is that the tear from the kingdom? Is. Let's head over to it. We're almost at the spot where the object fell. Mountain climbing is a lot of fun in Breath of the Here Wild. Here it is. Okay, let's use one of Link's new abilities. If you do this on the rock that just fell... Look, yeah, that it started rising. This yeah, power is known as Recall, which rewinds an object's movement. Since I just used Recall on the fallen rock, I can now rise into the sky. We're so now we can rewind to the time. Sky Islands. Hmm. Let's use the paraglider to reach one of them. Nice. There are a few other Sky Islands floating here too. I made it. There are lots of ways to reach the hey, Sky Islands, dragon so we hope you'll try a few different methods. Okay, now we're on a slightly bigger Sky Island. Just like on the surface, there are several man-made structures. Some trees are also growing here. You won't see many of those yellow trees on the surface, though. Visuals are gorgeous. Let's walk around for a bit. There's a branch on the ground. When you find something like this, you should pick it up. It might come in handy later. Let's continue. Oh, something's there. This is a brand new enemy called a construct. We'll fight it using the branch we just picked up. The more I see this, the more I make comparisons to Skyward Sword. Ah, the branch broke. Not good, not Maybe good. Maybe that's just the intention Quick, of reference. Quick, get another branch and... We defeated it. Moving on. We've now explored more of this Sky Island. As expected, fighting with just a branch won't get us very far. Also, this branch is almost broken. So here's another one of Link's new abilities. If we use this branch and the rock over here, and do this... Look! We can stick them together. What? We created a makeshift hammer. This is called what? Fuse. You can stick objects together to create new weapons with various effects. Okay. Let's take on another construct with this fused weapon. We just created a, a makeshift hammer. with two of them at once. Or a makeshift mace, in this case. Oh, we beat one. The weapon's attack has definitely improved. <laughs> that is just surreal. The other branch broke, but this weapon has much better durability. You can do all sorts of things by experimenting with the fuse ability. 
Now you can, you can fuse, fuse weapons. Two weapons, for example. Oh, wow. If we take this long stick and fuse it with a pitchfork, we can create a weapon with a much longer attack range. Interesting. With this, we don't have to get too close to enemies, and we can safely attack from a distance. You can also fuse arrows with materials in your inventory. For instance, try fusing this leaf to an arrow. How does that work? Fuse an ice elemental material to an arrow and... You can freeze far away ice arrows. Cool. Very useful. But what about the leaf? In addition... Hmm, let's see. Ah, there's a bird flying around. If you're out hunting, you might feel that aiming with an arrow is too difficult. Apparently, my eyes can't track fast-moving objects as of late, so my shots rarely land. So, at times like these, here's an eyeball you can get by defeating monsters. I'll fuse it to an arrow and... Look, it homed in on the target. <laughs> it becomes a heat-seeking missile. Let's try okay, this on another it. bird. I'll just fire in that general direction. It's very simple. That's Depending clever. on what you stick together, the fuse ability could also be beneficial for hunting. Very clever use of the arrows here. I fused a mushroom to my shield. Now, you're probably wondering if this has any use. Well, this mushroom is actually a puff shroom. Let's fight an enemy with this. I blocked with the shield. Okay, there's smoke now. The enemies lost ah, sight of Link, I so... See. Attack! Blind your enemy. Even if you struggle with combat, you can take down enemies using similar methods. In the previous game, you'd usually get powerful weapons by defeating strong enemies. But in this game, fusing even the weakest weapon with something else could turn it into a useful weapon. There are even more gameplay options for sticking things together. Let me demonstrate. It's better than bad. It's good. Some of the Sky Islands even have rivers. We'll want to cross this one, but swimming across it, well, the river's too wide for that. We need a boat. <coughs> of course, there isn't anything that resembles a boat around here. So, we'll lift up this log and attach it to a second log. Okay, yeah. Let's do one more. We'll bring this over huh. here and attach a third log. Make a makeshift raft. Good idea. It's a makeshift raft. This is another new ability called Ultra Hand. Even though the logs are currently attached, they can be detached. Let's modify the shape of the raft. It's like they were super glued together. I see. You can always attach things or detach them like this. It's like using glue or Now, or if we put this on the together. water, it's made of wood, so the buoyancy will keep it afloat. We've made a simplified version of a boat. Cool. However, it won't move in its current state, so we'll need something to propel it forward. Hmm. There's something here. Let's try hitting it. Those are propellers. Oh, wind. It's blowing wind. Looks like we found a fan. Nice. Why don't we try attaching it? How long do they last? We'll attach another one. This should make the boat well balanced. Of course, balance is a factor when it comes to making these things. Okay, they're attached. All right, let's try moving the boat. Hey, it's moving. It's sailing nice. pretty fast with the wind from the fans. Since we added two fans, we should be able to cross the river in no time. Okay. All right, we reached the other side. In the most recent trailer, we showed scenes of Link riding a large car and a flying machine. Oh, that beats using Those a giant vehicles leaf. actually aren't in the game from the start. Instead, you'll be able to freely craft them ah. on your own. There are all well, sorts of objects you'll come right. across in this game. So and depending on how you of use your imagination, drone. you can do a lot with them. So, try crafting different things and explore this world at your leisure. 
Wow. There are even more new abilities. Take this building over here. Okay, watch this. Look, Look teleportation. I passed right through the ceiling. This new ability is called Ascend. If you're in a place with a ceiling, you can go through to the floor above you. There are some restrictions, but what's great about this ability is that as long as there's a ceiling, you can use it anywhere. Oh, it's kind of like Smash Brothers, just jumping, For example, oh, jumping through a ceiling. This place has a cave with a hill right above but This one it. actually has a sort of an effect. If we use the ability here... <laughs> Come on, keep going. Okay, so this okay. is more like a limping. We emerged at the top of the hill. Instead of going through cracks, you're literally going In the going previous walls. game, you had to use stamina to climb a mountain. But in this game, if there's a mountain with a cave like this one, you can now get to the top without having to climb all the way up. Here's another example. Imagine you're stuck in a cage. If it's got a ceiling, you know what to do, right? Exactly. Oh, there's another construct. It seems to be holding a strange weapon. <laughs> Some enemies a fly are equipped with fused weapons, so battles will play out a bit differently from the previous game. Ah, it blew me away with wind. Looks like it's got some sort of fan. Sorry in advance if, uh, if it lags. At ah, I got pushed off. Ah, oh, well, let's just return to the surface. You can quickly descend from the sky to the surface like this. It feels so good. In the sky, you'll be able to look out across the land. I miss pilot wings. You can also search for destinations that pique your interest. Once you've chosen your destination, you can speed things up like this. Let's dive into this river. It's one hell of a dive. And we're back on the surface. There are still so many things I'd like to show you, but let's leave it at that for now. What did you think? Looks amazing. Some of Link's new abilities were updated from the previous game. I'm sure some of you watching me play were thinking, wait, if you could do that, then maybe you could do this too. In this game, you can do a lot of things just by thinking about what's even possible. There's still a lot of new gameplay, mysteries, and encounters we couldn't show today, but they're all jam-packed into this unfamiliar Hyrule, and we hope you'll use your imagination to explore it. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. God, that felt so short, but with a lot of info regarding the, the gameplay. Definitely looking forward to it. May 12th. So little time left. Man. <coughs> Don't know what else to expect. Uh, of course, there was going to be a special Switch version of the, of the game. I'm guessing this is the OLED. For the design, it has to be. This is going to be a huge celebration. So I'll say this. Uh, I do want to at least get my hands on it sooner or later. Um, I don't really know what to say. I mean, the game looks amazing. The whole idea of fusing um, items to become either weapons or, or tools. That, that concept pretty much blew me away. That was pretty awesome. Uh, the references to... Skyward soar with the whole um the whole island in the sky as well as the um the go going through ceilings or I guess you could say ceilings I'm not really sure if they're gonna go through walls as well but that's more like a take back to like um 
a link between worlds i haven't really played much that's like one of the few zelda games i haven't played yet <clears throat> alongside um triforce heroes but uh yeah it's it pretty much reminds me of that whole element of like going through a crack in the wall just to go to the other side of a of that wall so this one has like a similar concept and it actually goes like teleporting from one point of the ceiling to the other side of the surface that's that's pretty cool um don't know what else to say uh hope you guys enjoyed this video <clears throat> remember like share and subscribe if you haven't already and uh well if uh if anyone is interested um i'm gonna post links to paypal to patreon to coffee if uh you guys want to send me any donations that's completely optional it's completely up to you but i'll say this if i do get the in enough money to um to buy the actual game, I am definitely going to do a live stream of it. Only time will tell. Because I, I would love to do a live stream of, uh, of Tears of the Kingdom, if possible. But if not, just uh, share my personal thoughts of the, of, the, of the game in a separate video. But anyway, I'll see you guys next, next time, and uh, take care. Bye-bye.